Today I'm going from this to this. A desk setup powered entirely by a smartphone that cost me more than most laptops. I already lived off my phone for 30 days. Samsung has this dex mode that lets you turn any monitor into a full desktop and it worked. Barely. And this time I really wanted to know, could I actually make this work without any compromises? What if I built the most premium, no expense spared smartphone powered desk I could imagine? That question turned into a full on mission. Flagship gear, luxury everything and zero excuses. And today we're going to build it piece by piece. Then throw it into the gauntlet to see if this can actually be the laptop or if I just made the world's most expensive paperweight. Okay, so before I build this thing, an obvious question, what is Samsung DeX exactly? Well, here's the short version. Plug your phone into a monitor and it transforms. Not a giant phone screen, a full desktop. Taskbar, Windows, keyboard, mouse, the works. So yeah, the supercomputer in your pocket really can double as a real computer. And that's where it gets fun, because if that's true, why just settle for, it kinda works, when it could be premium. For a budget setup, you can plug into any monitor and slap on a $20 keyboard, but I didn't want budget. I wanted this to look so good, it belongs in a tech museum. After way too much research, I landed on what I think is the benchmark for laptop luxury, the next dock XL. It's sleek, it's functional, but still basically a laptop, not better than, which meant, a good start, but not the no compromise desk I was chasing. So let's level up. First, screen real estate. I found this extremely portable screen from Satsu that's just perfect for travel. USB-C powered, foldable with a magnetic attachment and just such a beautiful minimal design. A 15 inch display is fine for coffee shops, but real productivity needs width. I settled on an Alienware 34 inch curved gaming monitor. And what surprised me was with a few Samsung tweaks, DeX actually drives it at 3440 by 1440 ultra wide. Multiple apps side by side, no problem. <laughs> Okay, next up, the input. I swapped the U-Perfect built-in keyboard for my obsession, the Aula F75 Max. Aluminum body, zero flex, and a deep, satisfying thought. And paired with the Logitech MX Master 3S mouse, it's like I unlocked a cheat code for control. Especially the side scrolling wheel is amazing for mobile like interfaces. For the hub, I ditched the dongles and used a proper Thunderbolt 4 dock. One cable and everything powers up. But then, right when I thought I was done, audio broke the illusion. That's where the Ginkgo Mate transparent Bluetooth speaker came in. Compact, clean, surprisingly powerful, and still small enough to take with me on the go. Oh. Finally, this setup feels like a finished product. I can't believe this is all powered by my phone. Quick pause, if you're enjoying this slightly unhinged project, subscribe, it's free and it tells me I need to make more of these experiments. Oh, here it is, the final boss of Samsung DeX workstations. Portable luxury with the Sotsu screen, and a full desktop beast when I sit down at the ultra wide. One cable and my phone powers the whole thing. Keyboard, mouse, audio and display. But then of course comes the real test. Does it actually work? A dozen browser tabs, Slack, Google Docs, mobile editing software. On the ultra wide, everything stayed smooth. No lag, no slowdowns, it just works. And you have a lot of screen real estate. 4K YouTube nature dock, full ultra wide resolution, gorgeous colors. And with the speakers, it felt cinematic. Easily a 10 out of 10 for video watching. So was it worth it building all of this around a single phone? Well, almost. The biggest win by far is the one device lifestyle. My files, my apps, even my internet, everything lives on this phone. Going from a portable U-Perfect to the full ultra-wide workstation is literally the difference of one cable. It feels like the future. But here's the catch, software. Some apps still glitch, some refuse to resize, and yeah, there's the occasional jank. And when you add up the cost of all of this premium gear, you're well into laptop territory. So who's this for? Well, not everyone, definitely not video editors. But if you're a minimalist, especially with the Sotsu setup here, I think you have a great way of living off one device. For 90% of laptop tasks, writing, browsing, streaming, even like gaming, this setup is shockingly capable. This whole build started with one question. What happens when you remove every compromise? Well, you get a workstation that feels futuristic, fun and surprisingly powerful. And watch this video to see me take my decks on a 30 day vacation using only AR glasses as my screen. It was tough. There were some ups and some downs. 
and a surprising conclusion.